Hey everybody, it's the doll boy and today I'll show you how I made these hair extensions. This is great for dolls that you want to temporarily give longer hair or if you just want to add some colored streaks in the hairstyle. In this video I will be making a set of extensions for my Mulan doll. Because I rerouted her in a previous video it was really easy for me to get hair that matched the doll's rooted hair perfectly. If you did not reroute the doll's hair, you just want to try to match the hair type and color as well as possible. For this specific doll, I'm using Saran hair from dollyhair.com in the color Raven Black. To start creating the extensions, you want to take a small strand of hair and decide how long you want the extensions to be. For Mulan, I didn't want the extensions to be too long, so I use the length when it's folded in half. But if you want it longer, you simply don't want to cut it. For me, I cut the strands in half, creating that shorter strand. I'm holding the hair together, and then I'll glue it together on the cut part. I use the plastic from doll packaging to work in, to make sure I don't ruin my table. Then to actually glue the hair together, I use a hot glue gun. This tool does get really hot, so make sure to ask your parents for permission and help if you want to do this as well. If you or your parents are not comfortable with you using a hot glue gun, I will also explain a way to create these extensions that doesn't require glue. So stay tuned for that. But for the glue technique, I simply coat the top of hair Then flip it to the other side and add glue to that side as well. When the glue has cooled off slightly, you want to roll up the part where the glue is, creating the base of the extension. Especially with this step, you do want to be really careful, because even I burned myself during this process. When the glue is cooled off even more, you want to cut that piece of glue as short as possible because that is the part that will stick out when you add the extension in the hair. After cutting, you want to check to see if it looks like plastic. If you can still see loose hairs, you did not add enough glue to hold all the hair in place. But if your parents do not want to play around with a hot glue gun, that is completely understandable. In that case, you can use this glueless method. You just take a similar section and a rubber band and you just wrap the elastic around the middle of the hair a couple of times. Then you take the two ends of hair together and wrap the elastic around the top. To make sure, you have a strand that looks really similar to the glue extensions. The effect of this method is really similar, I just think this technique is not as permanent, so you might have to replace the elastic bands every now and then. But for a safer way, this is definitely a great alternative. Then, when all the extension pieces are made, I want to slightly curl them, to make it easier to blend them with the rooted doll hair. To do this, I wrap the hair around a straw sliding another straw over it that was cut in half. For this set of extensions, I curl them all in the same direction. Then to set the curls, I prepare a bowl of cold water and another bowl of boiling water. I dip each extension in the boiling water and then I just toss them in the cold water. This cooling step is even more important than usual because it makes sure the glue won't melt again.
Then, when all the hair is cooled off, I take out all the straws to reveal the curls. As you might be able to see, I also curled some blue extensions. Those are the ones using the leftover reroot hair for my Yaz doll from Ralph Brace the Internet. When I have all the straws taken out, I organize the extensions on thickness. Because I want the thinner pieces on the top layer, because those will be easier to hide in the hair. So these thicker strands will go on the bottom row, and these will be on the top rows. To install the extensions, I take a bunch of small elastic bands that match the hair color. I section off the bottom of Mulan's hair and tie the top parts out of the way. Then I take a small section of her rooted hair and tie it together with an extension. After doing that for the entire bottom row, you want to take a new section just a little higher. For the smoothest hairstyle possible, I bricklay the extensions, making sure I place the ones on the second row in the gaps of the first row. Then after all the extensions are in, I like to wet all of the hair, because that makes sure the rooted hair and the extensions dry together. To make it blind even better, I curl some of the rooted hair as well, to give it a similar texture like the extensions. After letting those straws sit overnight, I take them out to reveal the curl. To give it a perfect blend, I brush and finger comb the hair. Then I also position some of the top sections over the hair to hide the extensions the best that I can. As you can see, there are still some extensions slightly showing through, but for the most part it looks really great. I really hope you like how these extensions turned out. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more pictures of my doll restyles, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. At the Doll Boy. See you next time!